Yo, what's good, Grindy Gang? It's Grindy back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my vintage t-shirt collection. So I feel like this is a perfect video for the summertime. Most of you are probably gonna be wearing some variation of a short sleeve shirt. And I know a lot of it is probably gonna be graphic based. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that today. What I need you guys to do is go down, smash the like button so we can run it up in the algorithm. Subscribe if you are new. And lastly, follow the boy on Instagram because if you want any type of summer inspo, that's where you're gonna get it from as far as my style. So go ahead and follow that, but we're gonna get into the first t-shirt. Now, this t-shirt right here is actually a long sleeve t-shirt and I believe this is probably the most worn out of all of these. So I picked this up a while ago from Wasteland. It is a vintage t-shirt from the movie The Crow. So it's actually a 90s film that I actually haven't seen yet, but I did look at like the previews and stuff like that. Very fire, like gothic movie from the 90s. But I think that the overall simplicity of this graphic is what really drawn me towards it. Um, it has a little bit of fading, a little bit of cracking. I would assume that this shirt was also came out in the 90s. So so definitely has some beat to it. It is a single stitch. So you already know for all my business people, the single stitch really means it came from that 90s time period. But um, very fire t-shirt. It's printed on a Fruit of the Loom blank. Um, like I said, has a little bit of distressing here and there on the back of the t-shirt, on the neck lining, and I think on the sleeve somewhere. But very beat shirt, which actually makes it feel a lot cooler in my opinion, but we're gonna go ahead and move on into the next one. Now, next t-shirt right here, if you guys have been watching the channel, you probably see me pick up at Rose Bowl Flea Market a long time ago, but it is this Marilyn Manson tee, which low key is a little bit controversial now, but it's definitely still like a crazy t-shirt. It's a lot of people's grails, very, very rare. I think it came out, I think this is from like, um, a tour in like the 2000s. They don't have the tag on it. Um, I believe it's from like Giant. So if you, I, I kind of like put a picture up to give you guys some reference of the blank that it's printed on, but it is a double stitch t-shirt, faded Marilyn Manson face on the front of it, super cracked, so very like gothic and grunge type of feel to it. Um, it has like it fits a little bit boxy. I believe it's a size large, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, it doesn't have the tag on it, but um, very boxy fit. On the back of it, you have the Marilyn Manson, kind of like gothic scripted font in the back in red, but overall, like a very like legendary t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Paid some good money for this joint too, so. Moving on, we got a sweater, which is a Felix the Cat sweater, and Felix the Cat is basically like a cartoon character from, I think, the early, like, 1900s, back when they were making, like, those silent films and stuff. This was one of, like, those first, like, cartoon characters, so this is a sweater that I believe is from the 90s, actually, so I still think they make, like, reprints and stuff like that but this is a black vintage sweater with the graphic on the front now usually it's like a full body graphic i feel like the recent stuff is kind of like more full body but this one is just the face with the felix on the front and kind of like this off white type of um ink on it as well so Definitely another fire pickup. Now, I believe this next t-shirt is gonna be the last of like the actual vintage stuff. The rest of the stuff is just gonna be vintage type graphics or just graphic tees in general that I run to in that vintage category, but aren't actually quote unquote vintage, you know what I'm saying? But this one right here is vintage. I picked it up at a vintage shop in San Diego in like, 2018 i think i vlogged and everything too so you might be able to go back and find the clips from it but this is from um i guess it's a brand called teenage which is the original shirt but this is actually a cut and sew piece back when people were doing a lot more of like mix and matching t-shirts so it actually has a harley davidson t-shirt on the sleeves i don't know if i don't think that this is actually like the sleeves from a Harley Davidson t-shirt. I think it's the Harley Davidson t-shirt and then they made it into sleeves. So you have that on both sides. Both graphics are pretty different. So um, that's kind of like a cool, unique touch to the shirt. But then you have this slightly off graphic on the front. 
and then on the back it says totally off so it kind of has like this smiley face that's put together but doesn't have the yellow backing and then the next one kind of has like everything is all over the place the smile isn't on the circle the yellow isn't on the circle you know what i'm saying so the back kind of is like the cooler part of it you also have these different patch workings on it which is probably is from a whole nother t-shirt i don't know if it's part of the harley davidson t-shirt or not but definitely totally different but this is probably one of my uh, most worn graphics i got it actually before the um vintage crow one so this doesn't get worn as much as that one anymore because i feel like my style has kind of merge more into like that darker aesthetic but definitely a cool t-shirt to have moving on we got the t-shirt that i shown in my last video so i know you guys kind of know about it by now and you also seen me go and pick it up but it is this pikachu graphic t-shirt from basket case gallery and i feel like this is just one of those ones that i'm really gonna go to a lot this summer especially because i like how it fits it has like more of like a baggier fit. It is a size large, but fits just very nice. And like, it's not boxy, but like the shoulders have like a good drop to them. So definitely one of my favorite fitting t-shirts, but on top of that, the graphic is insane as well. So you have this faded Pikachu graphic, which isn't actually faded. Like I mentioned before, it isn't an actual like old t-shirt, but the way that they, made the print or the graphic they left out some pieces and kind of made it look like it has an authentic cracking to it so definitely a crazy screen printed graphic nothing on the back um but the colors and fitting and everything is fire moving on we have the other t-shirt from basket case gallery and i know i talked about this one as well but i also feel like it's going to be one of those ones that i run to when i'm trying to have that more vintage look and i still haven't quite figured out what this is on the front it's definitely some type of scarf but i don't know if it's from an image and they kind of like took things out of it to make it just this scarf silhouette but definitely a fire t-shirt on the back of it it says hence is a place by basket case gallery so the same fitting as the pikachu t-shirt and i just think it's fire moving on we have a few t-shirts that i've talked about a lot on the channel previously i haven't really gotten much stuff from them as of recent i probably do need to get some more stuff from them but i got this t-shirt by living to death and i think that this is actually one of the reversible ones but um on this front it just has living to death the contradiction of life itself and kind of has like this band t-shirt but the faces are actually skulls but the way that they printed it is just like a black on black type of graphic and it has that faded look so definitely one of my favorite like gray t-shirts i know a lot of these are black but this one is like an actual gray t-shirt that i feel like still has that washed out look so definitely a crazy t-shirt you have some detailings on the bottom that's kind of like cut i don't know if um the rest of their shirts are like this but this one in general very fire i'm gonna actually flip it inside out so you guys can see the inside graphic which is also crazy as well but yeah the inside graphic is just another living to death signature graphic that is actually i think on another t that i'm about to show but yeah man it just has a bunch of flames on it it has a skull it has like you know what i'm saying every like element to a vintage graphic you can find on this t-shirt and the fact that it's reversible so it's basically like two of them joints is crazy so this next t-shirt is also by living to death and it has even more of a faded look than that last t-shirt as far as the graphic goes but it's printed on another like black pigment dye type of t-shirt but very cool graphic this one actually isn't reversible but like just the overall look of it and the very like slight hints of like white and gray and purple in there really makes it look like a cool hardcore t-shirt now this next one kind of has a similar graphic to the black one that i just showed but um it's a lot more full and a lot less faded now this t-shirt one of my only like nitpick about this is it has a very thick neck lining which doesn't really make it feel so vintage i feel like a lot of the stuff that feels more vintage kind of has like kind of like a stretched out neckline not in like a crazy way but like it makes it feel more worn in so i probably have to like wear this joint some more or i might even like trim it or something like that but definitely still a crazy graphic um it has these three skulls on the front 
nothing on the back but it is definitely like a white vintage graphic type of tee. Now the next brand actually is on the same website as Living to Death. So if you come across Living to Death, you will probably come across this brand as well and it is called Red Therapy. Now this t-shirt is a ringer. Now it doesn't really like fit too, too crazy in like that vintage category, but I still feel like if this was like made in the 90s or something like that it would look so fire right now if it had cracks and stuff in it but this is just their psychotherapy t-shirt which has this crazy graphic that's probably from some type of movie or something like that that i haven't seen but definitely a fire ringer t-shirt i'm a huge fan of these ringers especially like the red ones so I go to this t-shirt quite often in the summertime. This next Red Therapy t-shirt is one that I have, I, yo, I actually lied. This is probably the most worn overall t-shirt. I don't really wear it much now. I definitely still wear this black one up here, but this t-shirt right here, bro, was like one of the first like fire white graphic tees that I got maybe in like 2018 or maybe even I don't think it was 2017. I think it was like 2018 at the latest, like 2019, but this is definitely a crazy shirt. It has the red therapy session on the front of it with the smiley face. And like the smiley face was something I was like, that added that like nice yellow pop to any summer outfit. So I was wearing it a ton. It's definitely like dang near yellowing at this point, but definitely still a t-shirt that I'm gonna always keep in my collection. Moving on, we got this shirt that I believe is from PacSun. I think I got it maybe like years ago, also like in 2018, but um, this has like basically this jo Joannis Vermeer, which I, I think, I think this is actually a painting, but they put the painting graphic on here with the 1665, I'm assuming it's a painting or some type of portrait of some sort, but it has a lot of cracking in the graphic as well. This definitely isn't like, the only reason why it doesn't really fit that true vintage category, and I feel like it's because they put this like contrast -ish in the t-shirt now if they literally would have took that out this would be like a full-blown like vintage tee dang near but um definitely still fire um it fits very small so it doesn't have any type of bagginess that any of these have but i feel like the overall look of it and if you want a tighter type of t-shirt to wear with maybe like some more boot cut type jeans this is definitely going to be a perfect t-shirt for that moving on we got two t-shirts from my boy over at mazir moderna and this is the floodlands t-shirt i actually have it in black too which i'm about to show y'all but i recently got this one and i feel Feel like this white graphic is just like it, it probably beats the rest of the like really white t-shirts that i have on here but this front graphic is um i i, I don't know if floodlands is a band excuse my ignorance but i don't know who this is or who these three people are on the front right here but the way he made the graphic definitely has a bunch of crackings in it. I think what really makes a good vintage t-shirt is a solid color with kind of like a cutout wherever the t-shirt is. So like if you have that single print color and then the rest of the graphic kind of is whatever the t-shirt is, I don't even know if that makes sense, but you guys kind of can see what I'm saying with this t-shirt, but definitely crazy. Um, you have Floodlands cut out on the top and the bottom, and then you just have like this Long John type of sleeve underneath it in this off-white color, but definitely a crazy t-shirt. The fitting on it, very, very boxy. Um, fits kind of like cropped, I would say, kind of like cropped in the waist a little bit, but definitely fire. And then this is like the black version of that t-shirt. Now, I feel like the black version definitely feels way more vintage. The only thing that I think kind of makes it more unique and more modern is this off-white color on the background of the graphic, but it basically has the same three people, which is why I kind of feel like it's a band or something like that, but exact same t-shirt, different type of wash. You have the floodland cutouts again on the top and the bottom, and then you have the exact same fit. Now, I probably I probably wear this one more than the white one, to be honest, just based off I wear a lot more black, but this is definitely 
one of them t-shirts, bro. This is a fire one. Now, the last t-shirt that I have right here is a graphic from Jaded London. So it is from, I don't know if the collection was like an Arizona collection, but it definitely had a whole desert type of vibe to it. But you have this crackling print of Arizona on the front of it, kind of like in this varsity text. And then you just have like a Western type of stamp or coin or whatever this is supposed to be right under it but this is one of my more baggier fitted shirts it kind of fits along the lines of like those basket case galleries so the shoulder has a, a pretty crazy drop to it so feels a little bit more baggy but they have some pre-made holes and distressing in the collar and then i think on the sleeve as well but overall a very cool white t-shirt it kind of is an off-white color so I, I guess it fits in the category of white but it's more like not tan, but like just off white, but definitely a fire graphic as well. Now that's pretty much it for the video, but I figured while we're at it, I'm gonna just briefly show you guys the rest of like my t-shirt collection, but I gotta take you to the closet in order to do that. So this is the rest of the t-shirts right here. Um, as you guys can see, it's definitely a whole lot of graphic t-shirts in here. We got all sorts of different joints in here, but I kind of, there's probably not going to be another time where I'm just going to show you guys a full t-shirt collection. So, you know what I'm saying? I figured I'd kind of put it all into one video that way you guys can see. Here's all like the black ones. Some, fin some um, fences in there. Just all types of t-shirts. Yo, there's actually another Floodlands joint, which is... I don't even know if y'all can see it. I showed it in a different video, so not really a big deal. But um, yeah, man, just a bunch of fire graphics in here that I know you guys really can't see, but I'm showing it to you anyway. But that is pretty much it for the graphic tee collection. I do got another collection vid that is gonna be a surprise. It might be like the video after this one or like a video after the next video. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but um that is coming soon so i appreciate you guys for watching make sure you go down comment below which one of these is your favorite t-shirt i don't think any of this stuff will be up for sale anytime soon but if it is check out my depop um that's pretty much it man appreciate y'all for watching i'll be back to you with more peace i know i feel like we out of touch yeah but call me up take one button oh yeah won't judge won't make no assumptions Say some